What is the Texas Real Estate Commission? What is it and what does it have to do with you guys? So they're our licensing body. Um, they are the enforcement, if you were to say that, you know, if there's ever an issue. And there's actually two different things. Texas Real Estate Commission protects the public. Um, TAR, Texas Association of Realtors, Realtors um, protects the realtors. When we're talking to clients, we like to get them on speakerphone so that we're both talking. Okay. But there's some phone conversations that she does not want me on. So, <laughs> and one particular one, showing clients a house, they were they really fell in love with this house. It had been on the market 60 plus days. This is a slam because dunk. Because it was overpriced. Well, that's that's in my story. <laughs> um, it was over, it was over, but it was on the market 60 days. You know, there's no competition, you know, not that they had been beaten out, but they just couldn't find what they had wanted. Right. You know, they wanted to be out in a certain area. Found a house, 60 days, go out there. They fell in love with it. Called the agent. Hey, we want to make a an offer, but it seems kind of high for the area. Can you give a call when we get back? Calls Mitzi back. She's on, on a speaker. We're talking and I'm, I'm sitting. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she said, uh, uh, yes, this is so-and-so. How can I help you? Uh, we have a, we took clients to go look at this house, but we, you know, do you have any comps to support it? Because it seems a little bit overpriced for the area. Mm-hmm. Well, I already have an offer. Well, no, she said, what, what board are you oh, what, a member what of? What board are you a member of? And I, uh, I yelled across the room, what difference does it make? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I'm a member of all three. This is why I'm asking because it, it was in an outlying area that could fall into more than one sure. board. So that's why I was asking that question. And so she was like, well, wh- what border? And I said, well, again, all three. So which, which yeah, one which do you one want, do you me, want to me to look to, in yeah. <laughs> so that I can go find comps? Because what I'm seeing, the house is a little, and mind you, it was a cash buyer. So, you know, it's, we weren't dealing with loan type. So she says, well, I've, I've, I've already accepted an offer and I'm, we're under contract. I go, but it shows active in the system. Yeah. Well, I, I, I received it yesterday. We accepted it yesterday and I just been too busy to change it in the system. I go, but I changed the scheduling twice on this house. So you've seen it come in since then. Yeah. And you still allowed it to happen. That she approved two appointments. Cause I changed, you know, yeah. changed, changed, changed. I go, you saw it twice and you didn't, you didn't figure to call me and let me know. Yeah. That's under contract. Well, no, I go, you're the shitty realtor that people talk about. <laughs> She's all, excuse me. I go, you heard the fuck I said. <laughs> so that's when I thought Tar would be nothing. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, that's a, that brings up a good point. So if um, you have somebody who wants to file a complaint against you, Jason, does it go against both of y'all or does it go against you? Because you well, have your own license. Right. It depends. And the reason, yes, it, it can go that directly. That one would be me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Um, but because we're now listed, um, we're officially licensed with, or excuse me, we are officially registered as a team with Trek. The Delgado Realty Group is a registered team. Okay. And so to be able to advertise Delgado Realty Group, we had to register as a team. And so it depends on if they were to, and in like in San Antonio Board of Realtors, we are listed as a team. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on how they would file it. 